Okay guys, so in this lecture I want to talk about the canonical URLs. I want to explain what is a canonical URL and what is a canonical tag. But first, I want to show you how do I know that Google needs us to use canonical URLs. So, you know I always use Google sources in order to show you that the things that I teach are 100% supported by Google themselves. This is a source I found on Google support that I say use canonical URLs. They basically explain why do you need canonical URLs, but they don't really explain what is a canonical tag and how do you implement it into your website. So this is what I want to teach you in this lecture. So first of all, what is a canonical tag and what do we need it for? For example, this is the URL of my website, but sometimes you can see this URL as well with UTM parameters. UTM parameters usually used for tracking, tracking promotional banner that you put in other website for example and you want to know how many people clicked this banner and moved into your website. Or for example on Facebook ads, most of the Facebook ads you will click will have certain parameters. This is something very common in order to track clicks from certain website into another website. But when Google see this URL, Googlebot may think this is the original URL of my website, but this is also a URL that leads to my website. So what happens? Googlebot may think that those pages are different and they have duplicate content. They have duplicate content they have duplicate titles, they have duplicate meta description, everything is duplicate. And Google don't like duplicate content. So this is why we need to solve this issue. We want to make sure that Google knows that this is the original URL of my website and there is no other URL except this one. This is why we use the canonical tag. The canonical tag or the canonical URL is basically the URL that we tell Google that this is the URL of the website. This is the specific URL and the only URL of this page. How does it look on HTML code? This is what I want to show you. You press right click, view page source, and search for canonical. Okay, so this is the canonical tag on my website. You can see the syntax is link rel equals canonical, href, and the original and only URL of this page. Now if I'll do the same with this page that contains the parameters, view page source, search for canonical, and you can see that the URL of my website didn't change. The page still says that this is the original URL of my website. This is how we solve the issue of duplicate content or duplicate pages. But how do we implement this canonical URL into your website? So this is what I want to teach you. If you're a developer, you can create a certain code that makes this canonical tag in every page of your website. But if you're not a developer, that will be even easier. If you're using Joomla, you can use this extension for Joomla, canonical extension, that will help you solve this issue of duplicate URLs. If you're using WordPress, you have Yoast plugin, which is a plugin that solves many SEO issues. So this is what I wanna teach you about the canonical tag. The canonical tag is very important you must have a canonical tag in your website, in every page of your website. So if you already have a website, I want you to check on view source if your canonical tag is there. You should try also to enter your website with UTM parameters or any other parameters and still check if the canonical tag didn't change. This is how you can know the canonical tag is working fine for your website and will solve any duplicate pages issue on your website. And if your canonical tag is missing, if you're using Joomla, use the canonical extension. If you're using WordPress, use Yoast plugin. And this is how you solve canonical issues. 
that's it. This is everything you need to know about the canonical tag and about how do you solve duplicate pages issues. So now we can move on into the next lecture.